So, Hanzo. Uh, medium, long range, short range, very vex fl flexible, I say. Very flexible sniper with a range uh, that you can play. The most important thing with Hanzo is really actually utilizing somewhere where you can kind of utilize high ground or wall climbing. Um, because remember, you don't just use it because it's there. You use it because it's there and it's good and other heroes that don't have wall climb can't use it, right? You think about first point Hanamura, right? You're playing attack. You know the top left little window there? Man, can you imagine if Ash could wall climb or Zen could wall climb and the amount of little extra pressure they could put out there, right? Can you imagine if Reinhardt could wall climb? Man, there's so many options that you'd be given there, but they can't. And so that's why Hanzo is good, is because it's not just because wall climb is there, it's because it gives you the opportunity to take positions of the map that are good spam angles or good flanks on the back line that other heroes just can't do it. So when I'm saying use wall climb, I'm not saying look for places to wall climb just because it's there, but think, hey, is that a good angle and can I get there? And a lot of times with Hanzo, you can't. Sonic Bow is can, util can be utilized to give you information to land headshots or can give you information on whether a flank is contested. In other words, if you want to go high ground, for example, we're just about to go right here. Let's Let's say you want to go to this wrong way you want to go to this high ground over here right but you're like i don't know if there's anybody up there i don't want to walk i get hooked by a hog so you can sonic from floor all the way to here and that gives you information to whether it's open or not you can go sonic here and then say hey there's nobody here i can flank around and look for a cheeky headshot here and the same thing kind of goes with stormbow is that you kind of use it to fight on that flank fight on that angle and so on okay um english is your second language well you're already smarter than i am um, is there a bug here or what's going on? Is this, what? is there not, is there supposed to be a telephone here or is it just bugged? It's bugged. Okay. So use your storm bow to give you information on the flank that you want to take. Or your sonic bow. Use your storm bow and your lunge to win the duels. Use your wall climb to take the positions and then just beat the crap out of the enemy team. So I, there's nothing really wrong with just Sonic bowing this right away. Um, just to give you information on the enemy team's composition, it's a little late right now, but you could Sonic bow here. You could also peek this here in Sonic bow. Uh, you could Sonic bow in here. So let's just see what happens, okay? Okay. Yes. Yes, very good. Now. My nitpick here, though, and because you're diamond, I'm going to point it out. What's the problem here, chat? What's the problem? Do you see the problem? Is the angle good? Mm-hmm. Is the storm bow good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's the wide peak. Why the heck do you peak this wide? You instantly, you see the Zenyatta. The second you peak this here, the Zenyatta is already visible. You don't need to go anymore. Just because it's there doesn't mean you should move there. Because all it takes is one headshot from that Zenyatta here, and now all of a sudden, you're one shot away from being killed, and you're too slow to move. Because the reason cover is good is it doesn't stop you from being shot. It stops you from being killed. Do you understand the difference? Because if I'm shot here, I can go, oh, I need to move over. But because it's an extra quarter of a second to move over, then, I'm, then I will receive a second shot, potentially, and die. Whereas if I get shot here, the only thing that can kill me are one-shots. That's why cover exists. It's there to deny anything but a one-shot from shooting you. Or if it's cover, like let's say here, it's denied to deny any damage entirely. For example, like let's say I'm spamming this here, but I'm hiding here because I know there's a widow over there. So I'm like selectively choosing my cover. But for the most part, cover is just there to remove the opportunity of being killed, not to remove the damage, right? So for right now, you're, you're gonna get shot. But you didn't need to almost get killed. There, that last shot on you from whatever that was, I don't know if that was a Hanzo shot or a McCree, yeah, a McCree shot maybe, completely unnecessary. Which means not only did you risk your life there, but now it's going to take more healing for you to get healed up. In other words, you could have, like, let's, 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 let's look at this from a potential perspective. Kill, 152 HP. Now, what does that mean if you had, if you had peaked this corner disciplined? 152 HP with McCree's shot, you hide here, you can peek this again, right? It's greedy, but you could have peaked it again because McCree can't one-shot you. And Hanzo has to hit a headshot to one-shot you at 150 HP. So you could have continued to pressure here for a longer time and maybe gotten another kill. You kind of see what I'm saying? 
So it's not just about the risk of death. It's the fact that the risk of death makes you run away like a pig squealing to get healed when you could have just stayed here and continually applied pressure. You, you, you increase the longevity of the pressure here. So now you're going to run away and now Smokery is like, well, he's gone and now you can focus on pressing your team. And, that's and, now, and now you're giving up and I don't know why. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Sonic this right here if you want to, just to give you like information on how to peek this and go back, please. I'm begging you. No, 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 no. You guys, have, you guys know the five second rule, right? Is that just in, in anything? You drop the food in the floor, you can get it five seconds before the germs get to it. Kind of nasty, right? I want you to take that and make it like the, 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 the five, like, what is it? Fifth of a second, half of a second, the 0 0.5 second rule, okay? The 0 0.5 second rule. If you can't get to cover in 0 0.5 seconds, and I mean entirely, like not a single pixel of you is visible, then you're feeding. Now that's not all the time in all circumstances, but whenever possible, that should be the goal. Right now you're trolling. You're absolutely trolling. If this Hanzo body shots you, you're screwed because there's no, you're not gonna get to cover before you're dead. You're dead. You're completely dead. So I don't, I don't know what to do with this. And like, look at, look, look, look at, you almost died again. And like, look at how, look how much of it, like, and again, it's not just because you almost died. It's because now that you almost died, you have to play like a sissy for another period of time until you get healed. Instead of continually applying long, because again, what benefit do you get from being here as opposed to being here? In fact, it's worse offensively or here. It's worse offensively. This isn't about playing more aggressive. This is about playing worse. You want to do more damage? You want to get more picks? You want to be aggressive? Play aggressive here. Play aggressive here. This is good aggressive. This is bad aggressive because you're not doing more damage. You will do less damage, get fewer kills, and die more. Even that. Is this, is this aggressive? Yes. Is this kind of a feed? Yes. But what happens? You get shot here. You drop like a rock. Half a second and you're in cover. So even though this doesn't feel like cover, in a way it kind of is because it took you half a second to completely negate the shot, the chance of being mm -hmm. shot. So a couple things, not not all bad, because I think we really f carried the previous fight. And this is what I'm talking about in terms of game sense and positioning. Like they're down one, yes, but we've got a lamp, we've got a high noon, we've got an available dragon and a but but look at the pressure. I want you to watch the backline just for a second. Watch the backline here. Zen spam. Hanzo spam. Kree ducks out of the way of the Hanzo. The backline continues to split and back off for threat of the Hanzo. McCree plays underneath the high ground because of scare of fear of the feared of the Hanzo, I say. Fear of the Hanzo. They window, they try and go forward to get value out of the window. Hanzo's like, oh shoot, I'm shooting you now. So once again, they start turning attention towards the Hanzo. There's the McCree shots. The Zen attention is uh, the Hanzo attention's up. The Zen dies to it. They're all completely split, and they go like, like we 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 single-handedly carried that. Now I'm obviously exaggerating, but like you 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 put out so much pressure by being there with good cover and not even hitting many shots. Like no headshots, just like it was like one or two body shots. And that was enough. And then we troll it here. I'm not sure if we misjudge the cart progression, make the, that's okay if the cart's here, but we troll it. And then we troll it again, because look at our positioning here, right? We force lamp. We force lamp. And I want you to look at the backline positioning again. Look at, look at these guys. Look at these guys. Look at how they're positioning, Mercio. Look how scared they are. Now, your Zarya is just a complete feeder. I have no idea what she's doing. And then your Ryan dies because he's also a feeder. But this is what I'm talking about in regards to positioning and cover usage. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Flank, please. Like, it's not even a flank. Like, people get this mindset with flanking. And I don't know where the stigma came from. Um, I mean, maybe it's just a word. Like, people say flank. Oh, it's aggressive. It's behind them. When, when people say flank, when I say flank, okay, I'm maybe not speaking for other people, I don't mean behind them necessarily. I don't mean on a really aggressive angle. I might not even mean a more aggressive position than standing behind Rhine Shield. I might mean a, just as safe as a position on high ground with cover, uh, with a good angle, like just very passive, right? But something. 
So I don't, when, when people associate flings, they associate aggression and feeding and popping off and carrying. No, it's just normal. It's normal to not want to stand behind rain shield 24 seven or stand on main. It's not only more aggressive in terms of the value that you probably will get, it's safer. I mean, you guys saw there at the stagger fight on the recontest, our Hanzo little buddy was in more danger with his position than he would have been if he had been on high ground on a flank, right? So like, let's remove the stigma of flanking being like these crazy pop off flanks. That's, it's just normal. It's just, it's to, to be split on a slight angle or a slight flank, that's normal. That's how you play Overwatch. That's how you combat, right? I don't care if you're playing Overwatch or playing like, what what is it? Not paintball, right? Or Call of Duty. If you don't respect flanks and angles, you're going to lose the game. It's that simple. So let's see what happens. That and cover are not unique to Overwatch. And if you think about it, in a real world, real world situation, or like airsoft or paintball, if you get hit by a bullet, oh, you're down, right? Whatever. Well, the cover isn't there so that you get shot the first time you react. The cover is there so that you see or hear fire being put your way and you're able to duck. So it's not just that, oh, I got shot the first time and then I can avoid. It's I can also see them turning their attention towards me and I react before it even gets here. That's the other thing. On another note, 0 0.5 second roll, right. So right here, 0 0.5 second roll, right? Why here and not here, right? Why here and not here? There's no downside. There's no, literally no downside at all. I mean, this fight is lost without a whole lot of your contribution. Uh, wow, okay. I mean, this is what makes high ground great, right? You got, they, they killed your entire team and they couldn't even push you. They couldn't even push you. You just got away. Whoop, 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 whoop. You know, and, and, and look at that. Two kills, three kills, and now you guys are actually going to be able to recontest this when you have absolutely no business recontesting. Well, high ground, they were down one. You were nanoed, or the, your team was nanoed. 0 0.5 second rule. 0 0.5 second rule. 0 0.5 second rule. Do not be here. Be here. Right, be here. Just even if you can't, if you're like the coach, there's literally nowhere I can do this. Okay, 0 0.6 second roll. Okay, 0 0.8 second roll. But it's if 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 if, if you can position here instead of here, you do it. It's just every like it, is, it needs to be such a priority. What was it that Wizard Yong video he made where he said that everybody knows positioning is important, but nobody really focuses enough on it with corners and cover. So he was talking about how he had one of his minions, he used to call them or whatever, who did the uh, strategical study of Overwatch League players, right? And how well they use cover. And the minion was so impressed by like how much better they were covered than the average person that they supposedly went into rank for like a couple weeks and literally just grinded positioning until they were like eyes were bleeding. And they climbed what was like 800 SR in a couple weeks. Now uh, that's probably, I don't know the, the validation or the validity, excuse me, of that statement or that story, but I can tell you that it, it, it's, it's that important. It is that important. No, she should not peak for 0 0.5 seconds, but that you should be near a position where you can completely remove the enemy team's vision in 0 0.5 seconds. If you get headshot by a McCree, 0 0.5 seconds to, from here to here. So this is again a situation here where we talk about the stalemate, right? Um, if you sonic this and shoot this, this is gonna be a lot of pressure, not only on this McCree, but also on this Hanzo. And it's gonna make it awkward and difficult for anybody on this team to take this high ground. And that's a lot of value. So you're going to get like a one on one, but like a one and a half on one, because the Hans is also going to have to respect you. So I want you to Sonic this. I want you to grab this Mega. And then what should this person do? What's the problem right now, chat? Right, but the big thing is the, the no cover, right? Exactly. So there's no cover. So if this McCree body shots him again, he's in serious danger. And that's ultimately what happens. Do you see this? How we have a good position, but we have no cover because we're not like playing here or here. So we end up giving up a good positioning. And now we're playing even worse. You see this? So now we've given up the high ground angle. 
In fact, he drops off the high ground eagle, allowing us to, hey, we could just press W here, or we could spam them off here. But now because our cover was bad, we had to give up a good positioning. See, this happens sometimes. Coach, I was on an angle and I, it just didn't work. I just died instantly, Coach. This angle positioning doesn't work. I need to play with my Reinhardt more. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Captain Clown, listen here. Because your positioning, first off, your timing is probably bad. But more importantly, if you're positioning way out in the open on an angle, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's like saying, don't cook with heat. You'll burn the house down. Right? Yeah, if you're, if you're stupid, yes. But most normal people, and I'm like, look at you, you're a complete waste of space. Like, where's your actual pressure here? Who are you hitting? Who are you shooting? Like, what's what's the value here? You get lucky and hit a headshot in a Zarya. Congrats. You want me to pat you in the back? Like, th th now what? Now what? No pressure. No angle at all. You're not here. Like, I would unironically prefer... Remember we talked about aggressive angles and how it doesn't always be aggressive? Screw that. I would unironically rather have you go duel this Zenyatta like a complete moron than doing what you're doing now. At least you're doing something and being moronic. Now you're being moronic and doing nothing. You know? Go here. Please, I'm begging you. Please, I'm begging you to play cover, mega, health pack, angle. Please, I'm begging you. What else are you going to do here? So many players fail to understand this. Do you not see the problem here? Do you not see how you're not actually... Do you see how you're losing the flank now and how this fight is over? You've had no opportunities to shoot anything other than Ryan Shield. Everything else has been complete luck if it's hit anything other than Ryan Shield. And, and you're sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for a grab that you're never going to get because you're not going to win another fight before you lose it. I'm just waiting for it. There it is. It's over. GG's. You've done jack. You've done jack. You're, you're, you're more useless than hand sanitizer in a Marilyn Manson concert. Good gracious, man. So we're, we're, we're going to have to stop there, okay? Because this is a tier one review, and, and we've hammered over a lot. So really struggling with cover. Really struggling with what I like to call main botting. That's not my term. I don't forget. Somebody in chat said it. I honestly don't remember. Unironically, chat, you guys made up the term main botting, and I actually kind of like it. Um, not because it's necessarily punny, but because it just describes the problem really, really clearly. Um, angle control with high ground, cover, it doesn't have to be in their back line. It could be my Ryan is here, and I'm literally on top of my Reinhardt. I'm shooting it above him. Or I'm 10 degrees here. But you have to find a way to work around these Reinhardt shields and to threaten them from another angle. That's the, that's how double sniper works. That's how snipers work. That's how overwatch works. And we're not doing that. So let's focus on our angle positioning, especially around high ground because it's Hanzo and you can use those high grounds. And 0.5 second rule, please.